Hello, in this OpenGL video, we're going to show you how to detect joystick input using GLFW. I don't actually have a joystick or the, the type of joystick that you would use for like a flight simulator, but I've got a game controller and that works as a joystick as well. So if you do want to use a game controller, this is the video for you as well. FYI, I'm using a PS4 controller, but you could obviously use a different game controller. So, first of all, what you want to do inside your loop, because we need to actively detect what is happening with our game controller, we need to first detect if the game controller is present. So to do that, just create an int variable. I'm going to call it present, glfw, joy, stick present. Now just put GLFW underscore joystick and this allows you to select a number of joysticks that could be selected which is a total of 16. I'm just going to put one because I know only one joystick will be connected during this video but maybe you're creating a game that allows two, three or maybe more players to use your game so you can easily do that. Semicolon, we're going to do STD see out obviously just make sure you got the IO stream header included if you want to do some see outs and for this I'm going to just do present std end line I'm also going to do joystick slash game pad one is connected I'm going to put status because we're printing it out whether it's connected or not. Now if I run this, we get zero because by default my joystick, I mean my gamepad isn't connected. So I'm just going to connect it now. Just connected it and as you can see it's now changed to one. I'm going to disconnect it and now it's changed to zero if I reconnect it. If I can actually get it in there, <laughs> I literally can't get the micro. Okay, there we go. So there we go. It's now connected, and probably for the most of this video, I'm going to leave it connected. If we just scroll down, now we can actually start it detecting functionality of our game controller or our joystick. So first of all, we need to make sure that the joystick that we are detecting input for is connected otherwise your application will crash and cause errors so just do if one equals equals present and now first of all we're going to deal with the various axes that your controller has so for example the PS4 controller has a left and right analog stick which you can move up down left and right so we're going to detect all of that so first of all, we're going to do int axes count because we're going to detect how many axes our gamepad or our joystick actually has. So do const float asterisk game. I'm going to put. I'm just going to put axes. Sorry. Equals glfw get joystick axes. Now specify which joystick we're dealing with and for this video it's going to always be joystick 1 for the count, just specify the axis count, needs to be a reference to it so we can update the original value and this method right here returns an array so when we access it we would access that like so but we'll do that in a moment First of all, we are going to print out how many axes we actually have. So I'm going to put number of axes available. Do, 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 do. And now just do axes count std and line. Now run this bad boy. And as you can see, you know. What I'm going to do is just comment this out, otherwise it's just going to get in the way. As you can see, it says number of axes is 6. And the reason for that is because we have a left analog stick, which has up and down, which is one axis. 
which is the Y axis obviously, left and right, which is the second axis. A right analog stick has up and down, left and right, which is three, four. So we have a total of four axes so far. You'll be wondering, where are the other two axes? Because if you're familiar with a PS4 controller, there's no other analog sticks on there. But the L2 and R2 buttons, they aren't button necessarily, they're actually triggers, so they have various degrees of sensitivity and as a result they are axes. Axis 5 will be the left trigger or L2 and axis 6 will be the right trigger or R2. But again it depends on what controller you're using. Different controllers will have more analog sticks, less analog sticks, different forms of axes. So it truly is dependent on what you are using. Now what we're going to do is print out the values for the axes. Really simple stuff. So I'm going to do STD C out. I'm going to do left stick X axis. And for this, I'm going to put axes zero STD in line. Now I'm going to deal with the y axis as well. So I know that 0 and 1 is the x and y axis of the left analog stick. 2 and 3 is the x and y axis of the right analog stick. Right. And now what I'm going to do is deal with the left trigger or L2 as it's called on my controller right trigger R2 and for this oh I need to update these as well 2 3 4 and 5 so now if we run this as you can see we've got some values printing out right there you know what what I'm going to do is std c out and I'm going to do std n line oh need to do std c out n line and I'm literally going to do a bunch of these it's just so we just only see our axes so as you can see I'm going to move the left analog stick left so if you move it all the way to the left, you get a minus one value. If you move it all the way to the right, you get one value. If you move the left analog stick all the way to the top, you get minus one, and then all the way down is one. So the axes range between minus one and one. Basically, they have been normalized. That's the same with the right analog stick as well. Very simple stuff right here. And now the left trigger, or L2. As you can see that value is changing. Fully pressed is one, not pressed is minus one. Now the right trigger, when it's pressed down, it is one. So that's how you detect axes and deal with them accordingly. But now let's just stop that. Comment all the seconds, there's quite a lot of code here. Next we're going to be dealing with button presses and how many buttons you actually have. So first of all, int button count. Now we're going to do const unsigned char asterisk buttons. And now this is going to be a array of unsigned characters, very similar to what we did right here. So this will get the state of all of our buttons equal glfw get joystick buttons gl fw underscore joystick one button count and now to detect ooh, something oh I need to put a reference to it because we're set we're modifying the original value there we go to actually detect if a button has been pressed you do if GL FW underscore press equals buttons 
and now you specify the button that you want to detect. I know that the button at index 1 is the X button on my controller. I've already tested it out and now I'm going to do STD C out X button pressed STD and line and now what I'm going to do is copy and paste this else technically I could just leave this as an else instead of an else if but I'm going to do else so you can see what the other form of button detection is so when it has been released X button is released so let's just run this it's constantly saying is released and that's because we haven't pressed it yet and if I press it it says pressed and then if I release it it is released pressed released pressed released really simple stuff and now what I'm going to do is finally show you how to get the name that your operating system your computer has assigned to your game controller what is detected it as to do that you do const show name equals glfw get joystick name glfw get joystick oh. <laughs> that was not what I wanted joystick one now finally std c out name std and line I'm actually going to do your joystick slash gamepad is called it is called wireless controller so that's it for joystick and gamepad input that's pretty much everything that you will need if you have any questions feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php there'll be a link in the description there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video and the source code from every other OpenGL video in this series if you like this video please give it a thumbs up hit that red subscribe button and leave us a comment and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day